This Thanksgiving, I'm sure everyone has that one Republican relative who's always rambling about how this country's gone to heck in a handbasket and things aren't the way they used to be. What if I told you that one relative was actually the most correct person in your whole family? Stay tuned. What's up guys, Vince Dow here. Be sure to like and subscribe. New setup, kinda, by the way. But Thanksgiving is coming up, so I felt like it was an appropriate time to make this fairly short but important video. So how many of you have a grandpa or uncle who every Thanksgiving has to rant about how things just aren't the way they used to be, Sonny? Growing up, you probably rolled your eyes at this individual. Oh, there goes grandpa again talking about how this country has gone to hick in a handbasket in many such cases. But as I'm going to argue in this video, and as many of my viewers have probably figured out by now, your angry old grandfather is actually right. Things really have changed, but then again, they always change. The point of this video is to explain that things actually have changed for the worse. And if they continue to get worse, we're not going to have a country. Your grandpa is not talking crazy. And he is not just being a generic old man. You know, we have this perception that, well, yeah, old people think that everything is crazy now. But that's just because they're old. You know, every old generation is going to think that the new generation is screwing everything up. But it never actually happens. The show goes on, right? You know, I remember a few years ago, my conservative Republican Vietnam vet grandpa had what he thought was a maturity moment. He was kind of sitting there and was like, you know, I look at this country and I think it's totally screwed up and young people are crazy, but my grandfather said the same thing. And life just always goes on. The old people think change is crazy, but we always manage to get through it and so on and so on. At the time, I kind of just nodded my head. I was like, wow, that's very mature of him to say. But I look back now and think, actually, he got psyoped. Actually, his original instincts and the instincts of every old conservative are correct. Because sure, to some extent, the old people of every generation think things aren't the way they used to be. But do you really believe old people in the 1950s complained nearly as much about that as compared to now? That's a good question for our older viewers, actually. Did your folks complain about that when you were growing up nearly as much as you do today? I think the obvious answer is no. Maybe 20% of your grandpa's ramblings are just regular old people instincts. But I think the other 80% is driven by a legitimate observation that this used to be a great country, it has gone downhill, and it's frankly pretty terrible right now. Like it's objectively gotten bad. Not that it's just changed and old people are confused by the change, right? No, it is actually changed for the worst. Old people are not delusional. They are right. This country was not always this divided. It was not this fractured. It was not this hard to live a decent life and have the American dream. And it certainly was not always this morally corrupt. Things have gotten worse. I think this whole idea of, well, yeah, it's changed, but things always change. And we're fine, you know? It's a complete psyop. It is essentially liberal propaganda designed to make you turn a blind eye to the very real fact that they destroyed a great country and continue to destroy it more. In order to distract you from that, they tell you that your grandpa, who is making simple observations, is just a crazy old man. And as a culture, we write off our Republican grandfathers as angry, crazy old men. But what they are noticing is very real. And we should listen more than we ridicule. We also should not simply assume that we will be okay just because past generations were okay, right? Because that's the other part of this whole idea. It's like, yeah, things have changed, and maybe even things aren't so good anymore. 
But America has been through worse, right? Society always had its problems, and people will always find a way to make them right. So calm down there, Grandpa. It may be different, but it's not the end of the world. We'll survive. We'll be fine. We'll figure it out. Again, I think this cultural idea is propaganda to make you not take what they are doing seriously. Because folks, stability is not a guarantee. Civilization is not a guarantee. Liberals always want to talk about fallacies. You know, oh, Mr. Beaton, my fallacies, especially the slippery slope fallacy. Well, you know what's a pretty big and real fallacy? Saying that because things got worse in the past and people were fine, we will be fine now, right? Saying, oh, your grandpa said the same thing, and look what happened. No, actually. Just because the system has not totally come crashing down in the past does not mean it can't and won't happen in the future. And I would argue, if things keep up the way they are, the writing is on the wall. It is going to happen. Because even a system and society as great as America's can only handle so much destruction before it gets, well, destroyed. This is all to say that this Thanksgiving, maybe it is time to take the words and the advice of your older Republican relatives more seriously. And I know we Zoomers have this concept of kind of like boomer talk, right? Because old people, especially on Facebook, they talk in a certain way. It's kind of funny. It's stereotypical. It's over the top. But when you get down to the heart of what they are saying, you know, you read between the lines, you digest the sentiments that they're really getting at. I think there's a lot of wisdom to be had there. I think there's a lot of observations. And in terms of, you know, going back, I understand the people of the past made a lot of mistakes that got us here, but there's also a lot to be learned from the model of when America was successful and a decent place to live with 50 cent milkshakes and nuclear families and white picket fences, right? So anyways, let me know what you think. Hope you have a happy Thanksgiving tomorrow. And yeah, like and subscribe if you are new. Alpha move is only. God bless. Happy Thanksgiving. Peace.